For since the beginning of the world, God's eternal power and divine nature has been clearly seen. So that men are without excuse. Though you have not seen him, you believe in him and love him. The goal of your faith, salvation of your soul, inexpressible joy. Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God rather than man. know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him according to His purpose. Don't let anyone look down upon you because of your youth, but set an example for the believers in speech, life, faith, youth, and purity. But don't you know that all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. So in everything you do, do unto others what you would have them do unto you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Airball. Be careful with the measure you use. It will be measured against you. And what those who have will be given more. Those who have not, even what they have, will be taken away. Since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities have been clearly understood in what has been made so that man is without excuse. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit, for whom you were sealed on the day of redemption. Get rid of all malice and anger, and slander, rage, bitterness. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord. Who is and is to come. For the same way you judge others, you will be judged measure you use will be measured against you. For God did not call us to live an impure life, 
but to be holy. He who rejects this instruction does not reject man, but rejects God. The Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command. Those who are dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive will rise and be with him forever. Lord, I take refuge in you. Save me and deliver me from all who pursue me. We walk in the light. He is in the light. We have fellowship with one another. I always pray with joy because of the partnership in the gospel. He has a 4.77 and a 1.93 in his scoreline. Adriano needing a 5.41 to take over the lead. Matt Wilkinson, second score coming in at just a 1.3. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, whom you are sealed in the day of redemption. Get rid of all anger, bitterness, rage. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness. And brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves. A wife <clears throat> and husband's body belong to each other. Do not deprive each other, except by mutual consent and for a brief time, so that you can devote yourself to prayer. Do not deprive each other for too long, or Satan will tempt you. Do not allow Satan to tempt you. Come again together. If anyone speaks, he should speak as if it were the words of God and serves with the strength of God through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God and to the Lamb who sits on the throne. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace through Jesus Christ our redemption. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were in awe and they said, we have seen remarkable things today. I declare that our present sufferings are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 8, verse 18. He appointed twelve and called them apostles, sent them out to preach, cast out demons, and to be with him. I tell you the truth, the time is coming, and now is, 
when the dead will hear the voice of God. Be appalled at this, O heavens, and shudder with great horror. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, broad, that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But narrow is the gate that leads to life, and only a few will find it. In your unfailing love, you will lead the people you have redeemed. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. these things to you, to those of you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know you have eternal life. As long as the earth exists, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, Day and night will never cease to exist. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. How great you are, O Sovereign Lord. There is no God like you we have heard with our own ears. Remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power and strength, and the ability to do well. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? The Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and the voice of an archangel and a trumpet call from God. Same way you judge. You could possibly die of hypothermia or get caught by a swiftly moving rock.
way you measure, you will be better. Even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. Uh, carry him through all the way through this midsection, floats it over that section, big carve across that, and pick it up some speed, and uh, throws a nice committed rail turn there, and then finishes it off with a nice stop. The lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and will wipe away every tear from their eye, and will leave them the springs of water. But what about you? He asked. Who do you say that I am? Peter answered, You are the Christ. Cast all your anxiety on God because He cares for you. Cast all your anxiety on God because He cares for you. For this world, in its present form, passing away. So in everything, do unto others, and you would have them do unto you. So this comes up the law and the prophets. I tell you the truth, time is coming when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. The time is now, and those who listen will be saved. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. Repent then of your sins and confess so that your sins may be wiped clean and you may be made afresh, refreshed, that God will send Christ to you, even Jesus. You are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from the Lord, our God. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only that which builds up others. Do not be terrified. Do not be afraid. Lord your God will fight for you. For you have been born again. Not a perishable seed. Uh, imperishable. We proclaim Christ, teaching and admonishing with all wisdom, so that we may present you perfect in Him. That a time is coming. Worshippers must worship in spirit and in truth. So those are the kind of worshippers God seeks. Those who worship in spirit and in truth. For God is spirit. Worshippers must worship in truth. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of heaven. Down to Leave any rights
many stars in the sky. Right, now before we look at the build on a 2.67 score, on the I will praise God with song and glorify Him with thanksgiving. This will please Him more than an ox. As God's chosen people, hold yourself with holiness, humility, kindness, compassion. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with our God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live. Christ lives in me. For whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. In him was life, and that life was the light of all men, and the darkness could not overcome it. He became imitators of us and of the Lord, in spite of severe suffering. In him was life, that life was the light of men. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible power, eternal character, divine nature has been revealed from what was created. No man has any excuse. The grace he had to be made like his brothers in every way in order to become a merciful and faithful high priest and to make atonement for the sins of his people. Son, S-O-N, is the radiance of God's glory, and the exact representation of his being. For no one can lay any other foundation other than the one that is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. We, with unveiled faces, reflect the glory of God and are being transformed into His likeness. It comes from the Lord of the Spirit. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. 
the reason the world did not know us is that it did not know him. This is love. Not that we love God, that he loved us. And atone for our sin. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. He will cover you with his wings. And under his feathers you will find refuge. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lead not on your own understanding. But acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will make your path straight. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. Since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities have been clearly seen. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. He will have the light. John 8, verse 12. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. He will receive the crown of life. God promised to all who love him. God created man in his own image, male and female. Those who are wise shine like the brightness of heaven and will lead many to righteousness. And you are washed, justified, and sanctified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of God. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will purify us from all unrighteousness. For since the beginning of the world,